The House of Ecuadorian Culture. Misho. The House of Ecuadorian Culture in Center of Loja is responsible for sustaining the identity and spirit of Ecuadorian nation by knowledge and integration for their cultural expressions and recognition and promotion of its inherent values both within and outside the country. Vision. To develop guidelines for cultural policy that has been mapped effectively and to efficiently manage the economic and human resource for operation of its established service. The Ecuadorian House of the Culture was founded in December 1946 due to the command efforts of Dr. Benjamin Carrion and Licenciate Alejandro Carrion, who was the president of the House of the Culture. The forming members of the governing body in Loja were Dr. Claudio Jaramillo, Claudio Carrion, Eduardo Mora Moreno, Carlos Manuel Espinosa, and brothers Miguel and José Alfredo Mora Reyes. Later, other intellectuals, including Reynaldo Aguilera and José Muñoz, joined them. The constitutional session in Loja was recalled by Carlos Manuel Espinosa. On February 20, 1947, a Loja's town hall, where, with the presence of the eight members need to organize the provincial court as established in Article 2 of Regulation and Creation of the Provincial Hood Met. Maxim Agustin Rodriguez was opened in 1852, May 1st. Its shelves are composed of reading materials, which hopefully expand the knowledge of the user. Know also that here you can find around 9,700 books and 3,050 all soft journals. Art Gallery. The Art Gallery also it doesn't have a showroom, but House of the Culture holds more than 100 of paintings of various artists, including Eduardo Kidman, George Espinosa, Frank of Correa, as well as many others. The auditorium and the theater. Those places are amazing because it gives us a lot of information. For example, concerts, forums, and different kind of events. The theater was inaugurated on April 16, 2001. Rooms, the Kilman Gallery. It was created under the directorship of Stalin Alviar Aliar and under the management of Estuardo Figueroa Castillo. This gallery promotes the presentation of pictorial and sculptural exhibitions in a space dedicated to plastic arts. It has a capacity of 100 people. Pablo Palacio Auditorium. It has a capacity of 100 people and exists for the performance of literary exhibitions, forums, discussions, concerts, among others. Then we have the conference room. It was located in the El Dorado Theater. Its capacity is 32 people. It has three offices, a lobby with bar service and a cafeteria. It is available for academic presentations, concerts, forums, video projections, and among others. Workshops from practical theoretical teaching, dance. Dance is under the direction of Auro Campo Jaramillo. It was to perform the listening of both expression, cultural expression, modern and folk dances. At the final of the school year, they present a presentation to their parents about the advantage that they have during the school years. They have students from 3 to 13 years old, like 100 females. Visual Art Workshop is under the direction of Claudio Rodriguez. It has students from all ages. At the final of the school year, they present their pictures at Eduardo Kickman Gallery. Also, it to present the skills that the students have at drawing and painting. The Singing Workshop is under the direction of Estela Betancourt that is to propose the melodic, rhythmic, and vocalization. At the final of the school year, they present a concert to their parents, and this is part of the Ecuadorian Culture House. <laughs> 